All right, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to another edition of the Long Coffee Break. Uh, my name is Mike Jacobs. I'm with Log Building Technologies. Today's guest is the man, the myth, the legend, Rick Jennings with Pinberry. Um, morning, Rick. How's it going? Morning. Good. How are you? I'm doing well. So we're going to change the things up a little bit this morning. Um, I know our title said uh, fan sizer, introduction to fan sizer, but uh, we're going to change it up. We're just going to go over Pinberry, um, what Pinberry has to offer and what's uh, down the pipeline for Pinberry. So with that, I am going to let Rick take it over and um, all yours, Rick. Okay, thank you. So um, we're going to get started. Uh, got a you know short agenda here. We're going to talk about essentially the legacy, who Pinberry is, um, you know where we do where we make products, a product line overview, and then some more exciting stuff of what's coming in the pipeline this year for new products. Uh, Pinberry uh, actually has legacy all the way back to 1860 with uh, Bailey Fan. Um, as you can see, there are several different brands that go across here, uh, Penn Ventilator and Berry Blower being the two key ones. They were making a lot of acquisitions throughout the, the years. And then in 2005, um, the Penn organization and the Berry organization were combined with all these brands to create Penn Berry. Um, so it's been you know a Penn Berry brand since 2005. Then in 2014, Johnson Controls purchased um, Penn Berry along with um, Several other brands uh, that you know, Ruskin, Titus, Kruger, um, the uh, um, Cook Filter, and that kind of that sort of stuff. Lau was included in that purchase. It was a uh, purchase of what was called ADTI at the time. Our um, footprint, um, we have uh, our headquarters now is located in Lebanon, Indiana, which is on a suburb of Indianapolis, along with our many one of our manufacturing facilities. Um, you know, we recently, when COVID hit and changed, um, we decided to move our, our headquarters. We were in Dallas, Texas, Plano area, decided to move it up to Lebanon to be with a plant, made more sense um, to, to be co-located with that. And we also have a manufacturing facility that uh, is in Juarez, Mexico. The Juarez, Mexico facility mainly does our commercial, what we call light commercial, would be the uh, PRVs and um, bathroom ventilator fans, that, that kind of thing. The Lebanon facility does all of our welded product. Um, so blowers, mixed flow fans, lab fans are all done up there in Lebanon, Indiana. With the move up there, we built a new lab in uh, Lebanon. So we had a lab in Plano. We closed that down and moved um, our facility up to Lebanon to be right there next to the factory. Um, we can do AMCA 211 air testing, UL 705 safety testing. Um, we also have a rapid prototyping machine um, you know, so you can see in the middle picture there, we have a, a Fortis uh, pr uh, printer, 3D printer, so we can uh, do that. The uh, big advantage we've got now is, is that, you know, we have full metal fabrication on site with us being at the plant. So um, that is really helping us with our uh, new developments. So we are a full line fan manufacturer for the commercial space. Um, this shot here is actually kind of a view of our um, software as it's gonna be coming out. Um, where you're going to select by application. So, you know, we have roof exhaust, roof supply, wall mount, ceiling, inline, blowers, gravity, lab exhaust, and plenum fans. Our current roof exhaust offering is, um, starts with our Domex Fumex, which is our PRV line. You know, that represents, you know, pretty significant uh, part of any fan manufacturer. So you're talking about 40% of your market comes out of those fans. They're on top of every building all over, whether it be a restaurant or a, a strip mall. We also make uh, Power Directs, which is a hooded prop fan. Um, we have an axial up blast, which we actually just released this last year called the RAU, RAUMO. And it is um, for you know higher exhaust levels and to be in a uh, like a smoke control situation. Dynapack and Supreme Fan are kind of uh, specialized products. They're also for uh, grease exhaust. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but they do give some offerings of better maintenance and things like that. We also make a little um, mushroom type uh, Domex Axial Fan, the Dynafan and the Linea, which is LCLF. Those are other varieties using the same um, guts that go into our regular Domex, um, just in a different cabinet so that if uh, architects want to see 
you know, something different on top of the roof that can be used there. Roof supply, we offer um, two main ones, the MU and the FS. The MU is traditionally what you see on top of restaurants for their uh, intake um, into their um, system. You know, in, it comes in left to right in this case. The FS is a filtered supply. It has, um, you know, all four sides are filtered so the air can come in through all the other sides. And then we also can turn the air ret around and make it a supply instead of an exhaust. Um, so, you know, and these basically are untempered makeup air. For wall mounts, um, we have wall fans going from a size eight inch prop up to a size 72. Um, you know, we offer the, the LWP, which is the top one on here, is just released this last year. It's a high efficiency prop and, um, you know, makes us much more competitive into the market where you might want to use these. These can be built in wall sleeves and uh, with uh, shutters and dampers and wall hoods as well. And then the wall Fumex, we can take the Fumex product, turn it on its side, mount it on the wall, and um, that can come with the grease exhaust as well. Ceiling and cabinet, these are mainly your, your bathroom fans or your exhaust of uh, clean air out of a, you know, a, an office area in a strip mall or something like that. Um, these go into um, hotels um, as well. So we have the Zephyr Quiet and the Zephyr Cabinet. Um, Zephyr Quiet being one that would be typically in a bathroom and the Zephyr cabinets are bigger and they typically are used in the, uh, the larger footprint office space. So then we get into our inline products. Um, we have quite a few of these. We have your basic square inline, which is the SX, the first one there on your, in your, on your screen. Then we have a round version, uses the same wheel. It's just round um, and it's bolted together similar to the square one. Then we make a more a little bit more robust. They kind of step up from there. You have a TCI and a TUB, which are also centrifugal fans, um, and they're a welded construction. Will go up a little bit higher pressure and uh, have a, a better operating point. Um, we have a mixed flow, so we have a, a relatively new product for us, the MXI, and it represents the most efficient mixed flow fan on the market today. And uh, it was released about uh, two and a half years ago. Um, we're having a lot of success with it, and, and uh, we're very proud of, of what we managed to do. Um, I didn't mention anywhere that you see the G+. Plus. Um, so G+, plus means that it can have the EC motors and uh, high efficiency combinations in there. So any, any of the products that you see that on, you can have that. We have a, a, an older ESI, which is, was also a mixed flow fan. Um, it is still round because we make, can make larger ones. We make some uh, like a 72 inch and an 84 inch in that one. Um, and so we keep it around for that. Tube axial, vein axials, we also offer those. Um, so, you know, basically the uh, prop with and without a vein section. In the blowers, we start with the utility set. So, um, and that's currently the Dynamo. Um, we're in the process of releasing a new one, which you'll see in a minute. Dynamo, it'll be class one or less. And, um, you know, it's mainly for, uh, places where you, you, need a, you need a blower, but you don't need a uh, welded you know, monstrosity that's uh, heavy, heavy, heavy duty. The VCR comes in single wide and double wide. You know, it's a regular house blower. Um, it comes in flat blade and airfoil um, and uh, is available class one through four, can come in any of the arrangements. The utility sets only come in arrangement nine or arrangement four for belt or direct, but this only has two options. Um, Industricon, the IND, that is our material handler series. Um, basically, if you're moving any kind of a dust, whether it be uh, sawdust, uh, corn dust, anything like that, where you're going to be a, a highly abrasive environment, these are the fans for that. And they will, you know, move air quite effectively in that kind of environment. We offer a full range of gravity ventilators. Um, we have, you know, your regular hooded variety. We've got the small ones with a little cap look more like a mushroom. We also have the little ones that spin, um, look like a whirly bird up on top of your building. And then we have, uh, you know, a, a tiered penthouse, which would be more architecturally pleasing, you know, for them. But, but basically, these are all just uh, allowing air to vent naturally out of the building. Um, we do have a hurricane rated model, which is the uh, penthouse high wind down at the bottom. It is uh, used extensively along the coastline. We ha I have seen it used some in the uh, Midwest area for uh, uh, tornado type situations. So, 
We also released um, a, full line, a full line of lab exhaust fans. So we start with our V plume, which is a, which is a velocity nozzle. So it ejects air out at a high velocity to get your plume. Um, it does not induce any air. So whatever air comes in is what goes out. Um, and that is available in single, double, and triples. As um, you see the single and triple on there. Um, and then we also have added in the last year, a variable nested nozzle option to it. What that will allow you to do is you can turn the fan down and the variable nested nozzle will adjust itself to maintain the outlet velocity of like 3000 feet per minute. So you can maintain your plume height. We also have induced flow. Um, which is the AMCA 260 um, type fans. You know, these induce air so that your, your exhaust out of your wind band is pre-diluted. We have this available. Um, they're fully AMCA certified 260. Um, and they're, they're built around our new MXI platform. So they're high efficient. And um, you can get these in single doubles and triples. Uh, we also have the ability, um, you know, we're part of Johnson Control. So we do have a control package, which will turn fans on, off, lead lag, um, anything that you might need to do with those lap exhaust fans. We also uh, have a couple of plenum fans, uh, mainly in this case for retrofit. Um, you know, the older style single unhoused plenum, which is our ESP, is, you know, it's can go from small to very large. Um, and, you know, it's typically was used in your, air, your air handlers you know, 10 years ago. They're kind of moving away from that now, but you might need a retrofit to replace one. We also have the ESA, which is the um, basically stack fans, if you want to call them that. You can stack them together and they cube up. You can make them like that's a two by two. You can make a three by three. You can make a two by three. You can whatever would fit there. These allow you to turn them on and off and, and whatever. And, you know, and then these are being used quite a bit to replace the large plenums, you know, in a retrofit situation. So we have those available. Now on to the new stuff. Okay, so. Our, our quarter fiscal year started in October here. So everything here is represented in there. So it's October to December is our first quarter. And uh, we are uh, we actually have released the utility event set in the software. It can be selected by um, you know, your representatives. Um, and what that is, is it's replacing the Dynamo, but it's right now for less than class one. We will be releasing a class one variety later this year. And uh, so then the, it would fully replace the Dynamo. We're also re uh, releasing a new square inline, so we're calling it SQX. Both of these fans are built around our Max Tech wheel technology. Um, we designed the most efficient wheel of this type um, available in the market today, and we're employing them in these fans as well as some uh, PRVs you're going to see later. You're going to have best in class performance, low sound levels, and these all can be used with G Plus motors. Then in Q2, we're releasing a new PRV, which is significant for us and uh, any fan manufacturer since it's such a large part of your business. It will be a new, you'll have a new down blast, new up blast, all built around that Max Tech wheel. Um, and it will be the most efficient and cost effective model on the market um, when it's released. We're also be adding UL uh, heat and smoke to our RAUMO and the MXI. So in an up blast and variety, you'll be able to have um, a heat and smoke variety on those fans. We have a new data center fan coming out. Um, it's super targeted for the data center market like the uh, Amazon and Google, uh, Google um, data centers. It will be a, an up blast um, axial fan um, whenever it's completed. We're also gonna put the fan efficiency index into our software, which um, is already law in California, um, that, that how you have to select those. Um, and so that will be coming out in our software then um, so you can begin to see, you know, how efficient the fan is and choose a fan based on that index number. Q3, we're going to be releasing direct drive models of our new, um, our new axial line, the RAU and the LWP. Um, once again, those will be best in class. Um, now, this one thing we are doing going forward um, for the small ones, um, we will not be releasing any um, motors other than G plus motors in those. So when you know you look at your small PSCs and shaded poles, those are going away. We're having a lot of harder time to get them, um, but we will be using the, the G plus high efficiency motor in all those products. And then for our last uh, quarter. For our fiscal year, we're going to be releasing the UVS class one, two, and three. So that will finish out the that uh, utility set project. And in, in addition, we'll be releasing a uh, what we're calling a VC plume. Um, you've probably heard the term fume jet. 
used. Um, these go on to high schools and, um, you know, like kind of lower end laboratory situations. It's a very low cost, high velocity lab product. Um, and we'll be releasing that along with that. And it will be, um, you know, built on the same chassis. So it'll have high efficiency motors and high efficiency wheel and, and all those things in it. I think that is my last slide. Awesome. Yes. I appreciate it, Rick. Uh, looking forward to uh, some of these new fans that are coming out. So um, if anybody has any upcoming projects that uh, they see Pinberry could be a good fit, please don't hesitate to reach out to your local long uh, sales rep engineer. So um, thanks again, everyone, for joining this week's long coffee break. And uh, please uh, look forward to next week's uh, coffee break with James Murphy going over how to achieve a low carbon footprint with gas driven chillers. So with that, that is the end of our coffee break, and I'm glad everyone could attend. Thanks, and have a good rest of your morning.